Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech. We specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY. Today we are working on a water source refrigeration unit and we're gonna be replacing the low pressure control with a dual pressure control because of a leak at the capillary tube. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. As you can see, we have zero PSI. There is no pressure left in the system. On my last visit, I found there was a leak right here at the capillary tube. There is no high pressure protection for this unit. So I figured this would be a great time to not just replace the low pressure control with a low pressure control, but with a dual pressure control. In this case, there is no refrigerant, so this system has been exposed to a lot of moisture. Definitely gonna wanna replace the filter dryer. So, let's begin. To begin, I'm gonna start removing this old low pressure control and mount the new dual pressure control and find a space for it. I oh, see it broke right off. So that was left. All right, the wiring in here is tight. Now we're gonna disconnect the electrical. Sorry for the noise. Doing a little maintenance on all their other units here right now. Let's get this off. All right. That's it. I'm gonna take off the face cover. So we have one, two, three holes if you want to mount it on the wall. You also have this plate if you want to mount it somewhere here. Let me see if that would even work. You know what, I might just mount it right here. Easy to look to. Don't got to worry about stuff like that. Oh. With the wiring. This wiring is short. Hmm. All right, just mounted the control here with the plate, put two screws, might put two in the back as well. Connected the low side right here, and we could also check pressure here. But we have a water regulating valve connected to this side. So if I put this here, we're not gonna have a port to check pressure. So I'm gonna put on a swivel T then connect this here. So then we also have another port to check pressure, but I might put it on this side and just rearrange it. So I'm just disconnect this and you'll see how I rearrange it. All right, so here's our pressure control. Here's the high side. Try to run it as neatly as possible. I added the second swivel T so we can still read pressure through here. Here we can see this goes to our water regulating valve. And here we lead high pressure from our high pressure control. Follow the low side comes up this way pretty neat swoops around into here and we can still read pressure from here I'm gonna take out this filter dryer and we're gonna braze in a new one if you pay attention to this unit on top this is out of use but what the old guy did here is for the king valve here he actually just connected this water regulating valve port and you can't check pressures anywhere and for the low side right it's only connected to the low pressure control. You can't read pressure and we have no high side protection. And one thing I noticed here, so this is the main water line coming in and none of these have a strainer. That is no good. I'm gonna pull the pins 
while I unsweat this filter dryer and when I braze in the new one, you want your system to vent. So we're gonna pull out both pins so we can do so. Cut this up a little bit, clear this out of our way so we don't melt that insulation. Pull this apart. Man, this insulation is super crusty. You could use a whole update on this entire system, but right now, the restaurant has been closed for the whole pandemic and we just need to get them up and running right now. Smoke alarms are off. I placed this fireproof mat here. Pins are out. I'm gonna light the torch and unsweat these connections. important is to pay attention to the direction. Before we braze our new connections, we're just gonna sand down the tips so we have a good surface area for our rod to adhere. These pipes are full of grease. I just sanded down the connections. We're gonna pay attention to our arrows, leaving the condensing unit, right? This is our liquid line. This is gonna go up to our evaporator, right? So we're just gonna fit this in here and braze our connections. Might be a little rough right now because there's some braze here. What you could do is actually heat it up and kind of just like tap it in. All right, I have this set into place. Got my fire guard on duty. <laughs> Let's braze these connections. good to me. From here, we're going to pressurize the system, check our brace connections, and all our flare nuts that we just connected. All right, opened up the tank, and let's charge through the high side. Micro leak detector. nitro tank. Let's connect the hose and we're going to release the nitrogen. I got the gauges hooked up to the system. Everything's ready to go. Our valves are open and I have it connected to the vacuum pump. So let's start it up. It's coming down fast. While the system is running in a vacuum, this will be a good time to do the electrical. We have two conductors here. I did make a video on what is a dual pressure control and how does it work. I'm gonna have to run some new wire. These connections 
are really bad here and I really just don't want to use wire nuts. So I'm thinking about mounting one of these boxes somewhere here. So I run one cable into there, run these inside there, and splice them inside the handy box. Here's the pressure control. I made my two connections with solderless connectors. And I ran the orange cable immediately along here and into that box. The wires are super short, but it's just gonna make it. All right, just turn the system on. I'm gonna charge it up. I have my manifold gauges. Also have my digital probes. And this is a split system, and we're gonna charge it with superheat and subcooling. Let's find a look. And yes, that's the box. And everything here and here's your pressure control from here pretty much we just got to get the charge right and adjust the control I do have videos on how to charge refrigerant using a scale and I will be coming out with a video on how to charge using superheat and sub cooling along with how to adjust a dual pressure control but if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you all next time